Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a hefty haul. Uh, I might have went a little overboard this month because January is my birthday and I had a lot of gift cards and the rest of the books I just don't have an excuse for. So I'm primarily making this video in the middle of the month so I feel guilty if I purchase any other books this month. I'm hoping this video will put a stop to my book buying this month and We'll see how it goes. I will probably be buying books next month because I'll be attending CEO Fest and I'll be meeting new authors and I'll probably want to pick up their books so I really need to stop buying books this month because I'm sure I'll be buying and picking some books up next month. So anyway let's get into this huge haul. The first two books I picked up they were only six dollars on I think it's Abe Books I think that's what it's called after reading Weird Girl and What's His Name by Megan Brothers last month, I fell in love with her writing, so I wanted to pick up the other two books that she has published, and those books are Debbie Harry Sings in French, Supergirl Mixtape. I don't know what these books are about. All I know is that this one came as a library binding, so that kind of stinks, but I paid $6 for both of these books, and that included shipping, so... It can't go wrong. Plus they're super tiny and I'm sure they're just as well written as the previous book that I read so I'm really looking forward to them. I can read you the um, synopsis of these books but that's as good as I can do. I'm sorry. So Debbie Harry Sings in French says Johnny's had kind of a tough life so far and he's always been a bit of a freak but when he discovers Debbie Harry, the lead singer of Blondie, he not only falls in love with her music but also realizes that he kind of, sort of, wants to be her. He wants to be cool and tough and beautiful like her. He wants to dress like her. He's not gay. At least he doesn't think so. So what does it mean? And what should he tell his amazing new girlfriend? This witty and tender novel introduces shades of gray into the black and white ideas of sexuality and gender. Anyone who has ever wished to be a little bit tough and a little bit glamorous will recognize Johnny's struggle. That sounds fantastic. I'm sold. And then Supergirl Mixtape says... After years of boredom in her rural South Carolina town, Maria is thrilled when her father finally allows her to visit her estranged artist mother in New York City. She's ready for adventure and soon she finds herself immersed in a world of rock music and busy streets where new people and ideas lie around every concrete corner. This is the freedom she's always longed for and she, and she pushes for as much as she can get, skipping school to roam the streets, visit fancy museums, and flirt with a cute clerk at the downtown record store. Uh, but just like her beloved New York City, Maria's life has a darker side. Behind her mother's carefree existence are shadowy secrets and Maria must decide just where and with whom her loyalties lie. Doesn't sound as good, but I'm sure it's pretty good nonetheless. The next three I picked up with a Barnes & Noble gift card that my sister-in-law gave me, so I picked up these three books with $30, so I think that's pretty good, $10 a book. Not too shabby, plus I had to spend that much anyway for shipping, so not for shipping, but I had to spend that much anyway to get like free shipping, so I wound up paying $5 out of pocket. Um, the first book is <laughs> What? Weird Girl and What's His Name by Megan Brothers. I had to own this. Originally I paid 99 cents for it on Kindle Daily Deals, and after reading it, I just, I needed it. Oh, there's a cat here. Ugh. Anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful book, and the cover is gorgeous. And if you want to know more about this book, I will link my review video down below. The next book that I bought is The Lies We Tell Ourselves by Robin Talley. I also have a review for this book if you are interested, and I'll leave that link down below as well. It's just a beautiful historical fiction novel with LGBTQI characters, and it's beautifully written. Ah, it grinds your gears while you're reading it, and it, it definitely moves you emotionally throughout the whole book. And it's just really good. And the soft cover is so beautiful compared to the hard cover. I love it. Um, I did recently enter to win Robin Talley's giveaway of a signed edition of this book, and I won, which is crazy because I never win anything. So I will probably be giving this book away in the future. I will let you guys know when that happens. And the third book that I um, bought when I was placing my Barnes & Noble order is Bitter Kingdom by Ray Carson. I have borrowed this book from the library twice now on my Kindle and I've read about 30% so I just need to read the other 70% and 
and I figured the best way to do that was just to get the book but I figured if I own the book I'll feel a little more guilty and I'll actually finally finish the series because it's an amazing series. The next two books I picked up because my husband wanted to go to Barnes & Noble to pick up a guitar book because he's learning guitar and I saw these and I caved. They were only $10 each so already I've spent so much money but $10 really isn't that bad when you see how beautiful these books are. So they are the Barnes & Noble edition of these classics. Uh, I think they're called the collectible classics from Barnes & Noble. They're like a soft leather bendable material and then the inside's beautiful and then the pages are colored. It's just oh, it's just it's beautiful. So I got Frankenstein and then I also picked up Pride and Prejudice. Because I don't think I own, I own like a really horrible Pride and Prejudice, so this one's a lot better. And just, the pages are green, and it's just beautiful. Then, <laughs> I also had a Target gift card, and I used some of the money on lipsticks, and like this one, <laughs> and a couple other random things. But I also, of course, picked up a book. Thankfully, I already read this book. I already read a lot of these books in this pile, so I don't feel too bad. They were mostly just getting them from my bookshelf. So a lot of these aren't being added to my TBR pile, so I don't feel too guilty. Anyway, the book that I bought from Target is Stars Above, which is the like novella bind-up for the Lunar Chronicles series. I already finished it. I already rated it. It was amazing. I definitely cried during the epilogue. If you read this and you cried, let me know down below. I need, to, I need to get my feelings out with some other Luna Chronicle fans. And it, it ended perfectly. So I, I have nothing else to say. It was I bought this one at Target because I think it was only like 12 bucks. So sweet deal. And then I didn't pay anything for these next three books. My friend Jody was unhauling her books at the same time as I was unhauling mine. And so she sent me some of hers and I am sending her some of mine. And these are the ones that I liked from her pile. So she sent me this edition of Jane Eyre because it is like 100% better than mine. I still really want the Word Cloud edition, but I really want to reread this soon. So I think I'll just reread this copy and eventually I'll get the Word Cloud one. Also for a while I wanted to read this book. It, I guess, uh, chocolate and caffeine are illegal. Uh, it's like a dystopic book. And that's really all I know about it. It's been on my library wish list for a while now, so I figured since she was getting rid of it, it would be nice to have the hard copy. If you've read this, let me know down below what you thought of it. I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, I'm kind of growing out of YA a little bit. The concept of this still sounded really cool, so I'm interested. The next book is also from Jody. We listened to the first like two chapters of this on the way to Y'all Fest in November and we weren't that interested in it. I have to say I think it was the narrators of the audiobook that kind of bothered me. So I do want to give it another try because a lot of people at Y'all Fest were like, what? You have to read that. It's actually really good. So I'm going to give it another try and that is The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. All I know about this is that a wealthy woman goes down to like the slave market and winds up bidding for a slave and buying him. I don't really know much else other than that. I have heard that she's a different kind of heroine. She uses her wit to advance the, the plot line, and I think that's really awesome, and I really look forward to seeing that kind of heroine, and I think that's badass in itself. So, looking forward to it. The last two books. So there's a story behind these, and I got a mom stay out the day before Valentine's Day, which was yesterday. I'm filming this on Valentine's Day, but um, so I went to Panera and I had a nice little lunch and I was reading my book and then of course while I was out on the town by myself, I went to Books A Million. And Books A Million, if you know, if you have one near you, has a wonderful bargain section. But of course I didn't buy any of the bargain books. <laughs> Instead, I bought full price books. I have, haven't paid full price for a book in so long. But I figured I would support Books A Million. I really like Books A Million. We don't really have a lot of local bookstores around here. In fact, I don't know of any. So anyway, the first one that I picked up is Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I've seen other people pronounce it that way. So yeah. 
Honestly, I don't know too much about this book other than that Kayla Rain gave it a high rating and so did Max at Well Done Books. And I'm just really looking forward to getting into literature again. I've been away from it for a long time and I just look forward to delving into this and highlighting and yes, I'm going to take notes in this book, so yes, I'm one of those people. I write my books. Except for that currently I'm reading The Rest of Us Just Live Here and it's a signed first edition I can't bring myself to write it. But this one, you will be written in and you will be tabbed and highlighted and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I just look, really look forward to getting into more of an adult novel. And the next book I picked up, I've seen on a lot of people's shelves and I had no idea what it was about so I picked it off the shelf at the bookstore and started reading the back and I was intrigued. And then I looked on Goodreads and saw that Max at Well Done Books, because I follow him, <laughs> um, gave it a 5 out of 5 stars and said that he couldn't give it any other rating because it was amazing. And that is A Little Life by Han Hanya Yanagara? Yanagihara? I'm not sure. So I'll read you the back because uh, that's all I know about it. It says, A Little Life follows four college classmates, broke, adrift, and buoyed only by their friendship and ambition as they move to New York in search of fame and fortune while their relationships, which are tinged by addiction, success, and pride, deepen over the decades. The men are held together by their devotion to the brilliant, enigmatic Jude, a man scarred by an unspeakable childhood trauma, a hymn to brotherly bonds, and a masterful depiction of love in the 21st century. Hanya Yanagihara's stunning novel is about the families we are born into and those that we make for ourselves. And that line, I was sold. The last, the last sentence, I mean the whole thing definitely sold me, but the last sentence is definitely something I always live by. It is the families that you make, not the families that you were born into, that make you who you are. Um, so it sounds really good. I read the first page and was also sold, so I really look forward to this. Of course these two books are almost 600 pages, or a large, uh, this one's almost 700 pages. So that's quite a commitment, but I'm looking forward to it. And um, if you've read this book, let me know down below. I think I'm gonna be reading it real soon, probably in April after the Raven Cycle Read Along is over. I'm going to just dedicate the whole month to probably these two last books. because I'm really excited to read some literature again and get into analyzing and deconstructing novels again since that's what my major is in so i'm really looking forward to reading these last two and yeah so anyway that's my huge book haul i have never purchased this many books at once and it's crazy so anyway thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of my new subscribers welcome to my channel and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much i look forward to your comments down below bye